Okay, Galaxy S8 Plus. So, screen protectors, tempered glass. Um, they haven't been working out really well because of the air gap. Regular plastic screen protectors. The problem is on the edges, there's always lift after a while or they're not super case friendly. So, some people are having to go with um, the wet install. Me, I'm not a fan of that. I don't really like the feel of those types of skins. So, this screen protector is supposed to solve that problem. It's called the Invisible Defender. And the way this screen protector is designed is that it wraps around the phone on the edges, which means there's no lift because it's going across the edge on both sides of the phone. So let me open this up and show you what I mean. Okay, so you'll notice right here, these edges, the plastic on the screen protector is actually going to wrap around this phone and come up onto the back. And because it's doing that, it's not going to lift on the edges. Standard screen protectors are just ending right there on the line. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Okay, so if you see the instructions on this screen protector, it is pretty similar to other screen protectors, but notice you can't use that hinge method where you align it because of the sides of the screen protector and how it wraps around the back. So it comes in a two pack. So phone's right there, little squeegee, microfiber cloth, and a wet wipe. So let's go ahead and get this installed. So with this wipe, I'm gonna make sure to wipe the front of the phone, but also the back because again, it's going to wrap across the back of the phone to prevent that zero lift on the edges. One of the secrets to making sure you get a dust-free install on screen protectors is by using this, canned air. So I always hit the phone off, get all that dust off. So I'm going to have to line this up and then make sure that the sides right here where the gap is, it matches. So where that hole is right there, that it matches the power button on the side. So I'm going to pause it for a second just so I can get this lined up and installed. Okay, so I have the front aligned. I'm just using this to get all the air bubbles out. Push them all out to the sides. Let me pause it while I get all those air bubbles out. Okay, so now you pull tab two off. So while you're holding down the screen protector, pull off tab two. So this is similar to uh, other screen protectors that you use, but again, the edges always have that lift, but you'll notice these are a three step or three tabs. So I'm gonna pull this off pull this off and wrap it around the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it while I do that. Okay, here's the screen protector with the back wing attached. Like, you can barely see it. Notice right there that it wraps around. If you look at the front, a lot of those air bubbles are going to disappear within the next day or two. I'll push everything down. But if you look on the edges right here, Again, I'm going to have to put those out, but it can't lift because it's wrapping around the phone. So let's see what this looks like in my thin Elago case. So slight um, lift right there, but I'm going to go ahead and push that down and it'll disappear but on the edges, I don't see any lift. 
This is the official Galaxy S8 Plus um, protective case in black. Peel that off. Take uh, this back off. And then let's see if the phone fits that without any issues. And it just pops right in. So again, looking at the edges, you'll see some of these small bubbles right now, but if I push them out, they're going to leave. But you notice that there is no lift on the edges because it wraps around to the back. And you can see right there where the power button slightly exposed and it's just going to the back. And because it wraps around the phone, you're not going to get any edge lift. Somebody did this with the Note 7 on XDA using... Um, a screen protector for the Galaxy tablet and hacking their own and wrapping it around. So you see right there, there's an opening for the power button, but because it's wrapped around the back of the phone, it can't lift up on the side. So look at that. No lift. And because it's seamless, that means that access to the edge screen is going to be super smooth. And white or swiping works just as well, no issues. So awesome screen protector, um, by far the best one you can get right now if you want zero lift. Again, the only issue I'm seeing is right there, but if I push it down, it should be fine. You don't see it lifting right there because once I get this down and then tuck it into the case, it's going to be pretty perfect. So not quite tempered glass, but not $45 like the Whitestone either. So. Um, super good screen protector, invisible defender. I'll put the link down below if you're interested in it.